Good morning, everyone. This is Al Rohde. Uh, this is 8 for 8. It's uh, 8 o'clock Eastern, uh, New York time. It's 9 o'clock in Halifax, beautiful downtown Halifax, um, the place I love so much. It's not sunny as always here, but that's okay. We are still filled with peace and joy. Today, I want to talk about holiday gifts. I think we're coming up to a holiday season and schools shut down for a while and people have parties and family gets together and sometimes there are many gifts that come from these holiday gatherings. And when I speak about gifts, I'm not talking about presents under the tree or, or um, bonuses that come from the boss or things like that. What I'm talking about are the gifts of stress, are the gifts of anger from other people or that you feel toward people that you love but sometimes struggle with. We all have people in our lives like that. And so I want to combine a little bit of this Ho'oponopono thinking with some EFT, which is I'm finding very useful. Uh, for myself and for others. We, people who come to us with energy that doesn't feel so good, up until perhaps this year when we started talking about these things, we have all looked at that as, you know, they're, they're this and they're that. It's kind of like there's a blame game. Is there not? So I was like, I wish she wouldn't act like that, or I wish she wouldn't say those things to me, or I wish whatever. And then you have expectations, do we not? And the expectations get disappointed. Well, what if we didn't have any expectations? What if all the expectations were just things that were inside us that needed to be let go of? Kind of like getting in the river of life and flowing downstream. Oh, well, I have these expectations. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have these expectations. Isn't that a gift? So it's the gift of the holiday season. You're, you're going to get together with friends. You're going to get together with family. There will be social gatherings. And there will be people in, among those social gatherings who traditionally have, bought you, have brought you stress and anxiety. And so in aligning with your spirit, if you start to look at that as a gift, everything will change. So, starting on the karate shop, I want to do a completely, in the style of Patricia Carrington, perhaps. I could never master her voice. But in the style of Patricia Carrington, I'd like to do a completely positive round of EFT. So, tapping on the karate shop point. Thank you for coming into my awareness. You have brought me such wonderful gifts. This holiday season brings me such wonderful gifts. And I love you. And I love myself deeply and completely. This holiday season brings me wonderful gifts. People sharing their stressors with me, bringing me their anger, complaining about their in-laws. Isn't it wonderful? And I love and accept myself deeply and completely. Gifts under the tree pale by comparison. to the gifts that you bring me when we visit together. I know we love each other. I know we care about each other. But on occasion, those gifts you bring me of stress and anxiety are the true gifts of the holiday season. as they remind me of who I can truly be. 
I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. Top of the head. You have brought me many wonderful ideas. Inside out. You have given me many opportunities to clean. Outside out. You are perfect. Under the eye. You are perfect. You are God's child. Under the nose. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. On the chin. My blood and chi are flowing smoothly. On the collarbone. I am filled with peace and joy. I am free of pain and illness. Under the arm. I am blessed with good fortune. Thank you so much for joining me on that. The um, That last part of the tapping sequence, I never get tired of it. I, I know you've heard it many times. I, I hope you take it for word for word. My blood and chi are flowing smoothly. My energy is flowing smoothly. In private sessions, when I talk to people, and, and I ask people to do that, um, to do that, I listen to the way they come back to me and that my blood and chi are flowing smoothly. And if it's hard for them to get it out, I know that they're not meaning it. And so we work on it and continue to repeat it until all of a sudden their blood and chi is flowing smoothly and doesn't that feel wonderful? So I'm hoping that you can use that tapping round over the holidays. Perhaps you could download it and copy it. I will certainly get it up to video within the next couple hours. Paul will post it at his leisure. And, um, and uh, you can use that um, to whenever you think that you might be meeting with people who traditionally have brought you stress and anxiety, who will now be bringing you nothing but gifts. If we change the way we look at things, the things we look at will change, as Wayne Dyer is off to say. And I firmly believe that's true and know that this tapping affirmation will help all of us get through our holidays with happiness and peace and joy and fulfillment and being in line with our spirits. Don't work too hard this holiday season, please. Jump in the river of life and flow. Take some time for yourself. Take care of yourself first, last, and always. That's one of the statements that Hugh Len makes in the Ho'oponopono training. Take care of yourself first, last, and always. Uh, the analogy is a good one. When you're on the airplane and the steward says, when the masks fall, if you have a child with you, put your mask on first so that you can then take care of your child. And so we need to follow the breath, the breath of ha, something we'll be talking about on Thursday for those of you who have signed up for the Ho'oponopono tele-seminar. It's not too late. Thursday we'll be talking about the breath of Ha and many other things. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me and thank you. This is Al Rodi in Halifax at EFT Atlantic. Have a wonderful week. See you next Monday.